guys, we're kid friendly. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not even a little kid friendly. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Gator the Legend here with you, as always. And this is going to be that Q&A thing, I promise you. Let's go. Guess who's back, 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 back again, yeah, 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 Gators back, 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 tell a fr, 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 fr. Oh, that's right, boys. You got the Gator and you got him back. Sorry, been away for a little while, went on a bit of a vacay. It was pretty awesome. Anyways, I'm back to answer some of you dumbasses' questions. I wrote it down on a piece of paper, typed it out, boom. So the fancy YouTube writer guys out there in the world, you can understand, you can understand that the Gator has improved his channel, 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 simply by learning how to type. <laughs> First question comes from B-A-Z-X-W. He says, why don't you make fun of gays and trans fags or retards? I think you should, and it would be great. Uh, probably, uh, what? <laughs> what? What kind of guess? Next question comes from Anchors. He says, what was your favorite old school Gator Poon video to make? The favorite one to make, I mean, I really enjoyed it when I had all the different, like I had all the other people playing and doing all that shit. So, uh, Dawson's Creek parody one, I thought that was fucking gold. Whatever you guys thought, I don't really care. You didn't grow up with Dawson's Creek, okay? I'm old, I fucking get it. But to answer your question, my favorite video had to be Death by Weed. It was so much fun. It's kind of stupid and retarded what we did. Like, we both went through and kind of read each line or whatever and played the character. And then I was like, let's go back and do it with us being in reverse spots. That's what we're going to do. So we went back and we did it, redid it in reverse spots. And then I had the crazy idea that I was just going to have us bounce back and forth during the actual video of me being Tommy, him being Chaz, him being Tommy, me being Chaz. Just make it make no fucking sense. Because the video doesn't make any fucking sense anyways. I mean, I literally say in the video that don't smoke weed and run on railroad tracks or you might die. First off, have you ever seen anyone smoke weed and then run? Right? I mean, right? The video is already debunked right there. Next question comes from Corbin Stevens. He says, is visual herpes real? If so, please get vaccinated. Uh, so I feel like you're saying if visual herpes is real that you're saying that I have visual herpes and that I should see some kind of physician for so such said herpes that I might or may not have. Well, visual herpes is not a thing that I know of. But what do I know? Uh, well, you know, uh, next question comes from the fellow I did my very first channel's promotion uh, video about. Go check him out. The Pickle Enterprise. He said, he asks, in your boxing vids, do you actually give the box to a fan? No, I don't give it to a fan. What? Obviously not. It, go back and watch all those videos, and then watch the video that follows it immediately. And almost all of them, you can see majority of the objects that I boxed up in the background on my shelf. I thought I put it up there, that way no one would question whether or not I was actually, you know, fucking sending this shit to someone. So people weren't getting their hopes up waiting to get something, hoping it was them. How would I have gotten your addresses anyways? Never even asked for anyone's address? Check the comment section, no one put addresses down there? Tego Diaz asks, why do you still have a YouTube channel? I mean, clearly it doesn't work. So why do you choose to put this crap out? You think it's a choice? <laughs> you think it's a choice? I'm under contract with iDubbbz. I have been for like the last three years. You guys not see this? You don't see this? Look a little closer. Next question comes from Miguel Hoovers. And he asks, horse fighting or hamburger? It was like a hamburger emoji or something. Uh, so I just wrote hamburger. I, I don't really understand the question to be honest with you. I guess you're simply just asking me, do I prefer to either do or just watch horse, ra horse fighting? And is it two horses fighting, or is it a man fighting a horse? Because that does make a difference. If it's horse fighting horse, boring, seen it, don't want to watch it, I'm going hamburger. But if it's a man fighting a horse, I mean, I gotta see that. How do you not say a man fighting a horse? Gonna get your ass kicked, but you know there's gonna be some funny shit before that happens. Black Omet says, would you smash iDubbbz, Putin Pie, or Maximofo? I think he means PewDiePie. Uh, Max Bo Mofo, I feel like that's everybody's obvious choice because, I mean, he's a little feminine. Uh, I dubs, I mean, I like the guy, don't get me wrong, but he's a, he's a bit awkward. Where PewDiePie, I feel like he could just take you in your arms, you know? Just hold you close, give you a little snuggle, 
Just make you feel like you're safe and warm, you know? So I guess I go with PewDiePie. Next up, we have a question from Captain Kush. It says, ladybugs or corn dogs? Another one of these weird fucking questions. Ladybugs or corn dogs? Again, I have to ask, I mean, with the ladybug, are you asking, do I want it to be a pet? Or are you asking, do I want to eat a ladybug? Or do I want to eat a corn dog? Or do I want to have a pet corn dog, possibly? Pet corn dog sounds pretty fucking awesome, plus the taste of corn dog sounds pretty fucking awesome. So corn dogs beat ladybugs 100% of the time, corn dogs. Paul Machado says, since you said to ask you about weird shit, do you have any sexual fantasies you'd like to share with us? Oh yeah. There's no way the old gator's gonna get off without some Jean-Claude Van Damme fight scenes playing in the background. GDuddy20 asks, what video is that song at the end from? I can't, I mean, what have you been living under a fucking rock, dude? That's from my video, hashtag for the views. I made it a long time ago, it's a little rap, and it's just about all the different things us YouTubers will do to get views. Next question comes from King Mockery. Here's a question for you. Why don't you wear your frat bro glasses anymore? Next question comes from Hardcore Hero Wrestling. He asks, if you were to collaborate with any top YouTuber, who would it be? Oh man, I mean, there's quite a few I'd like to collab with. Uh, I obviously I dubs, PewDiePie, H3H3, Boogie, fucking Filthy Frank. I like to collab with, I mean, hell, I'd probably like to collab with most of them, but I guess if I only had to pick one, I'm gonna go with iDubs TV. And now it's time for the final question, and it comes from Sheepdog Sherlock, and he asks, Who is Jake Paul? Jake Paul is an infection to YouTube. He was sent here to destroy everything that we love, everything that we hold dear, everything that is important to us. And unless things like this, yes, and I say thing, because he stopped being a person a long fucking time ago. But if we don't do something to stop this thing from infecting us, it will spread. And there will be nothing that anything or anyone will be able to do about it. We have to join together. We can't, we can't let this be the new common, the new norm, the new thing that everyone's excited about. Oh, when's the next shitty ass fucking music video from Jake Paul coming now? No, we can't let it happen. So I'm calling upon each and every one of you out there. Stop it. Just, just, just make it stop. Jake Paul, have mercy on our souls. Please take your video down. Please, you see all the pain it's causing. You see all the people that it's hurt. It's like you don't care. So please take it down. But, but please take the video down. Thank you guys so much for joining in for today's q and I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to go to my Twitter and to like it and follow it or whatever. I don't think you like a Twitter page. But follow me. Write me. Drop me some DMs. Say, what's up? I found out what DMs meant. So that's fucking cool. Uh, also, Facebook. I gained like 14 likes. And I think maybe because I slightly min mentioned it in a video before. And I gained 14 likes. So I guess it was pretty cool. Got me a little bit more excited about Facebook. So don't forget to go check me out there as well. Um, and I guess that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. As always, I've been the Gator. And you've been great. Peace. <laughs> I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?